football at the College of William and Mary. Through the years, much has changed. Uniforms and equipment, nicknames and mascots, conference affiliations, and yes, the training facilities have certainly changed. While change is inevitable, the following conversations with 11 former student athletes whose football careers span 60 years in the colonial capital provide evidence that the hundreds of players and coaches who've stepped on the gridiron representing William and Mary do indeed have a shared history. Separated in time, united in experience, creating a timeline of tradition. Tom McCullough, guard and blocking back, 1943 to 1947. These are his words. Playing football at William & Mary made me believe that anything you want to do, you can do. Nothing is beyond possibility. The close supportive relationships with my teammates were unique, and we've tried to maintain them over the years. My message to current Tribe players is this, do your best. Take as much from this experience as you can. You'll never forget this place and these people. I owe everything I am to the opportunity to play football at William & Mary. John Dawkins, Tackle, 1948. Here's what he told us. I flunked out after one year at the college, but that year changed my life. Friendships began with teammates that continue today and I met my wife. I've never forgotten my ties to William and Mary, and I'm proud to be a financial supporter of the football program. Carl Cheek, two-way player, quarterback and defensive back, 1957 to 1961. Carl has this to say. I learned how to get along with people taking the ups and downs of life. The wins were great, the losses were horrible. I like to say, one day chicken, the next day feathers. About the equipment and facilities, I remember that our practice uniforms were washed about every three days, if that tells you something. Football prepares you for what you come up against in life. And although now I'm in a challenging business, I really miss the adrenaline rush of game day. Mike Madden, quarterback and safety, 1964 to 1967. Mike shared these thoughts. I remember the heat during the Tua days, and especially the dogs with Coach Pecatello. Coach Levy taught us discipline. He always said, don't be dumb, don't be dirty, a line I made sure each of my five kids would repeat back to me before they left the house on a date. And of course, there was, where else would you rather be, but right here, right now. Jim Cavanaugh, split end, 1966 to 1969. These are his recollections. As a freshman, we had to dress in the visitor's locker room, which sometimes housed the cadavers for human anatomy class. The formaldehyde was so bad, our eyes watered and our clothes stunk. These days, as a college football coach, I use some of the same coaching language that Marv Levy used with us, like the best statistics are the win statistics. For today's players, we're proud of you. Former players always cheer for current players. You should know you're a part of a great tradition. Joe Montgomery, center, 1970 to 1974. His thoughts. There was no weight room. We had an old, rusting, universal machine under the corner of the stadium. Then it was moved to a racquetball court in William & Mary Hall with one dangling light bulb. I remember bench pressing in semi-darkness. For my business, I learned to be confident and surround myself with the best, as Coach Holtz did with his assistants. I was lucky and privileged to attend William & Mary. 
It was a defining force in my life. John Gertleman, fullback, 1971 to 1974. Here's part of what John had to say. Concentration on the football field translated into success as a naval aviator. The skill of staying focused during intense moments was crucial in making night landing on an aircraft carrier and later on in my career when facing a business crisis. For student athletes, William & Mary is the best choice. I wanted to play football, but I also wanted to secure a great college education. I learned many lessons playing football and learned even more from my college professors that helped me to succeed in life. Work hard to develop your mind and body for football and learn how to learn in whatever academic field you choose. J.D. Gibbs, cornerback, 1988 to 1992. J.D. shared these memories. There are no greater motivations than Coach Sauer's coffee breath at 6 a.m. and Coach Laycock's halftime speeches. Oh, I still laugh at a teammate who shall remain nameless that could do a mean imitation of Coach Laycock. The mix of characters and diversity of players, from dedicated and intense to fun-loving, and from small towns and big cities, they were a great group. Friends that have lasted forever. Sean Knight, quarterback, 1990 to 1994. Sean shared the following. Lessons learned? Preparation is everything. Excuses accomplish nothing. Win with integrity. You can't always produce excellent results, but you can always give excellent effort. What I saw and experienced at William & Mary was an institution driven by the pursuit of excellence, taking a good student and making him great, taking a good athlete and making him better. For today's student athlete, know that this time will have a profound impact on your life. Sean McDermott, safety, 1993 to 1998. A few of Sean's words follow. I was a walk-on. I remember the day Coach Laycock called me in and told me I had earned an athletic scholarship. That was a very emotional day. Football prepares you for life. It's a melting pot of different cultures. I can't begin to fully describe it. It's innumerable and immeasurable. Tom McCool played for the tribe in the early 1940s. He told me that I played like he played. So he gave me a photo of him making a block for a teammate. That picture now hangs in my office. David Corley, quarterback, 1998 to 2002. David had this to say. Coach Laycock had a private office under the stadium. No players allowed. Marcus Washington and I, both fifth year seniors, begged to go in. Coach always said no. Finally, one day he did say yes to Marcus. Marcus told me coach had pasted pictures of him, hundreds of them, all over the office. Coach told Marcus, see, I always said you were my favorite player. Man, I never got to see that office. To current players, appreciate the history and tradition of the players that came before you. Do your job to uphold and add your signature to that tradition. Eleven Perspectives A Shared History By Players Separated in Time United in Experience Creating a Timeline of Tradition And as we celebrate the dedication of the Jimmy Laycock Football Center We quote 1998 graduate Sean McDermott Look at this new facility as a symbol, a symbol of those that have come before, of a winning tradition on and off the field. Appreciate the opportunity to succeed that has been presented to you by the donors, players, and staff at the College of William & Mary.